Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will have an experiment about concentration of solution. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! Concentration of solution is the amount of a solute that is dissolved in a solvent. This can be expressed qualitatively and quantitatively. Let's discuss the qualitative descriptions of concentration. Experiment time! Hello! For today, we will have an experiment about concentration of solution. The following are the materials that we need. First, Prepare four identical plastic cups and label them with A, B, C, and D. Food color, you may choose any color that you want to use. Medicine dropper and measuring cup. A tablespoon for steering. And last is top water. Experiment time! First, put 50 ml of water on cup A. Then add one drop of food color on cup A with 50 ml of water. Use tablespoon for stirring. Stir the solution until all the food color is dissolved in water. This is now the solution A. Set aside solution A. Let us now proceed with solution B. Let us use the same procedure in cup B. Put 50 ml of water. This time, put 10 drops of food color on cup B which contains 50 ml of water. As you can see, the color of the water is starting to change. Stir the liquid using the tablespoon until all the food color is dissolved in water. The final result is the solution B. At this moment, let us compare solution A from solution B. Both solution contains 50 ml of water Solution A with 1 drop of food color on it, and Solution B with 10 drops of food color on it. Now that we are done, let us now prepare Solution C. In cup C, put 20 ml of water. After that, add 1 drop of food color. The next step is to stir the liquid until all the food color is dissolved in the water. And there you have our solution C. Now that we are done with solution C, let us now prepare our last solution, which is solution D. For cup D, let us put 100 ml of water. After that, Add one drop of food color. The food color is starting to disperse. Again, stir the liquid until all food color is dissolved in water. This is the solution D. Let us now see the difference between solution C and solution D. Both solution contains one drop of food color. Solution C has 20 ml of water, while solution D has 100 ml of water. Let's go take a look at solution A, B, C, and D. These four solutions have different colors. They also contain different amount of food color and different amount of water. Obviously, there are solutions that are dilute and there are solutions that are concentrated. 
A dilute solution has more solvent and less solute and usually it has a lighter color just like in solution D. While a concentrated solution has more solute and less solvent, usually it has a dark color, just like in solution B. There are ways on preparing a dilute solution. First is by adding more solvent on a solution. Or can be by reducing the amount of solute in a solution. We also have ways on preparing concentrated solution. It can be by adding more solute on a solution. Or by reducing the amount of solvent in a solution. In this experiment, we discuss a dilute and a concentrated solution and ways on preparing those two. Quiz time! Now answer the learning task posted on your Google Classroom. Good luck and enjoy answering! That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!